This is the Nightwolf howling at you, and today we're getting a little clickbaity with our title, I think. Anyway, Chase versus Collectors, right? Uh, recently, Chase has announced that it will no longer allow collectors to use their credit cards on the buy now, pay later plans. So how does this affect us, you might ask? Well, specifically, uh, right off the top of my mind, I am thinking about uh, purchases at Mattel Creations. Since uh, they use shop pay for their checkout, you would get the option to pay in installments interest free. So now according to the Chase website, what is buy now pay later plan? Buy now pay later installment plans provide the ability to break up purchases into smaller payments instead of requiring customers to pay the full amount upon purchase. And some examples. Why can I not use my Chase credit card to pay external buy now pay later services? Buy now pay later plans are a form of credit. Chase generally does not allow the use of Chase credit card to pay for other credit products. The beginning of October 10th, 2024, payments to external buy now pay later plans will not be supported. By the way, I would like to point out that if you get a Chase credit card, they usually have a thing that says transfer your balance to interest free for like 12 to 18 months quite often, meaning you're using their Chase credit card to pay off another credit card. So that's BS right there, right? What should I do if I'm using a Chase credit card for a buy now, pay later service? If your Chase credit card is the payment method for any reoccurring external buy now, pay later installment plans, please update the payment method with your buy now, pay later to avoid any missed payments or late fees. If your method of payment to a buy now, pay later provider is by a Chase debit card or checking account, it will not be impacted by the change. That's what they've got, right? And they're saying that the reason for it is because of you know paying for credit with credit. If we go take a look, uh, and this is an article for from 10WJAR, written by Emily Vols, uh, talking to a Ted Rossman. I'm not gonna play the video here, but here we go. Why is Chase blocking users from signing up for third-party buy now, pay later plans? The quote is, it's probably mostly that they want to protect their own turf. If you're going to use a buy now, pay later, they want you to use their option, explained Rossman. There's also the school of thought that it's risky to pay off debt with more debt. Well, that happens all the time. Again, you can apply for a Chase credit card and transfer a balance to it. You know what I mean? So you're paying off debt with the debt. They still allow you to do that when you transfer a balance. So he mentions here that, you know, four interest-free payments over six weeks used to be the norm. It's not quite that simple anymore. That's true. If you go to Mattel and use shop pay, I believe the company as a firm would let you break up your payments into four payments every couple weeks. And a lot of us Motu collectors were doing that. I mean, I did it all the time. The last time I ordered from uh, Mattel, I couldn't though. So my general thought on this, honestly, again, since you can transfer your credit one credit card balance to your Chase card, and usually get a reduced interest rate for that. I think their 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 reasoning here is bullshit, pure bullshit. Because what is better for Chase as a credit card company? If you spend, let's just say, a thousand dollars, and your purchase gets broken up into four payments of two hundred and fifty dollars, it's easier for you to pay off that two hundred and fifty dollars when it comes in than to pay off the full thousand dollars when it comes in. And if you're like me and you go ahead and you pay off your balance pretty much every week, it makes it easier to do that. So what I think part of it is, is that they want that full thousand dollars on your credit card so they can start collecting interest because they're going to assume you're not going to be able to pay it all off right away. And for a lot of people, you probably wouldn't be able to pay it off all the way. That's why you went with the uh, payment plan in the first place. Also, let's just say you're using your, your Chase debit card with it. It's a lot easier to kind of forget about that reoccurring charge than you might think. And there's a chance that you might overdraft and they can charge you overdraft fees, which is something banks love to do. On a personal note, many years ago when I was at a bank, I got a statement in. Just think about this for a moment. It said that I was... I had a negative balance of $19 in my account. This is after they charged me a $25 fee for not having enough money in my account. Now just remember, I was at negative 19 after 
they charged me $25 for being overdrafted. I actually fought that one and won, by the way, because, you know, even showing the bank manager, they're like, I, that's, that's not possible. I'm like, yeah, that's right. Because I would have to be at least, I'd have to be more than negative 25. If you charge me a $25 fee, I shouldn't be at negative 19 with a negative, with a $25 fee for not having enough money in there. Anyway, that being said, that's one of the things I think they want. One, they want you to have that full amount on your card at one time, so it's harder for you to pay it off and they can collect interest. And two, they want you to put it on your debit card so maybe you'll forget that it's there or not have the money in there at the time that it takes the money out for the debit on the payment plan and thus be able to charge you a overdraft fee. But that's my thoughts on this because I just don't understand why they have their own buy it now, pay it service. I, I like I don't understand how that's supposed to work. You know, it's like, oh, I just made this purchase. I would like you to just make installments on it on my credit card. Like maybe I'll try it out at some point to see how exactly how that works. But I'm not really interested in doing that right now. It was nice and convenient going through shop pay for that. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say here. This is just going to be a quick video on this one. Let me know what you think of this. Uh, do you also think that this is a bullshit thing that Chase is trying to do? Also kind of might fall under to the unfair business practices sort of thing too, to a certain extent. But that's just my uh, opinion. Again, let me know what you think. Uh, please feel free to give this video a like. And if you'd like to subscribe too, that would be awesome. I would love to be able to make it to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Peace and love.